In July 2011, the Gunning Wind Farm, an important component in Australia's energy future, was officially launched by the Prime Minister of Australia, Julia Gillard. And it's signposting a way for us to a cleaner energy future. Thank you very much. The launch was wonderful. To have the Prime Minister of Australia there at the launch and also the chairman of our company, um, Jose Manuel Entrecanales, you know, travel all the way from Spain, very busy man. It was a wonderful opportunity for us to showcase the project and to showcase what we're trying to do in Australia with generating green power to support all Australians. This 31 turbine, 46.5 megawatt wind farm is the third to be built by Actheona in Australia. Located on private property Walwa, the wind farm is capable of generating enough renewable energy to power 23,250 homes per year. It's off farm income, which uh, we don't, doesn't cost us anything, and it allow, it's allowed us to reduce our debt. No complaints at all. They've been they're very professional, and here, you know, they're a great thing. Before construction begins, a meteorological mast is erected, which monitors the wind activity for up to two years so that long-term wind data is collected. The masts can be as tall as 110 metres and measure wind speed and direction. This helps our engineers position the turbines in the optimum location to harness as much wind energy as possible. The actual construction of Gunning Wind Farm took nine months. Site preparation included pit excavation, cabling to mains power and laying of foundations. We work with many different contractors, sourcing much of the construction team from local companies. While monitoring and construction is taking place, and after the wind farm becomes operational, communicating with landholders and neighbours is very important. We do this through newsletters delivered throughout the town and by post, as well as the Community Benefit Fund and Sponsorship Fund. Essentially we've got two separate funding commitments that we've made to the community. One is our Sponsorship Fund, where we're providing um, sponsorship to groups like the football club, the netball team, the historical society, those sorts of things. The other thing that we've got is a Community Benefit Fund, and essentially the Community Benefit Fund provides $1,000 per turbine to the community. Um, so for gunning, that's $31,000 per year for 25 years. So there's quite a bit of money that can be invested back into the community in infrastructure, um, establishing a land care group, providing a scholarship for a young person to go away and study. Uh, those sorts of things really put back into the community and, and we see that as our way of being able to contribute back um, working through our community relations program. Our aim is to become an integral part of the local community. One of the many partners we have worked with is the Upper Lachlan Shire. We invite councillors and officers out to the project during construction to demonstrate the extent of the works being undertaken. What I found out this morning was there's nine and a half permanent jobs and I think that's terrific. The other wind farms, we've, there's no permanent jobs. And uh, of course they've got no ongoing employment for any locals or any you know, income stream, whereas this one's got nine and a half jobs, so that, that should be a, a great benefit to the, uh, to the local area. All the staff from the wind farm live in the district. Here at Gunning Wind Farm, under full production, we're going to be capable of generating 46 and a half megawatts of electricity. That's clean, green, renewable energy, which is the equivalent of powering around about 30,000 homes. Um, so we're proud of that. Actheona is proud to be contributing to Australia's renewable energy future, creating infrastructure to reduce carbon emissions. Our vision is to meet the challenge of achieving sustainable development in all of our business areas, ensuring that ours and future generations will have a more sustainable lifestyle. It was wonderful to get to the end of the project. I mean, after nine months of work, a project of this size, $110 million, after some of the challenges, wet weather on site, working with the main cranes, managing all the landowners and community issues along the way, it's an outstanding outcome. We achieved commissioning of the assets on time and we're generating green power into the grid at the almost the earliest available opportunity. So it's a fantastic outcome for the project.